Pro app. Tumi Pro app allows you full manual control of your smartphone camera. Use the settings, frame rate, ISO, quality, everything you want to do to get better video quality. This is the main menu for the Filmy Pro app. The first one you can have the resolution, what type of resolution you want to do, 4K, 3K, 2K, HD, 720p. I usually do 3K just because in the Galaxy SA Plus on 3K resolution, that's the only resolution on which you can use the cinematography kit that include different color profiles for your video. Next option will be your frame rate. And here you can select what frame rate that you want for your video, whether it is 24 frames per second, 25 or 30, or whatever frame rate your device allows you to use. Just make sure that whenever you do some new, whenever you're selecting your frame rate, ensure that whenever it's red like that that means it's not lined up your frame your frame rate on your audio so it's gonna be out of sync make sure they match so in order to avoid out of sync audio just use the pre-selecting frame rate on top which is 25 or 30 it will adjust the audio and the video frame rate at the same time so you always got the audio and the video on the same Next one, you got your audio, whether you have a microphone, um, a standard microphone, and the type of settings for the audio. Next is going to be the device. The device will tell you different type of um, options that you got. You can tag your, your GPS location on your videos, or you can use HDR mode on supported devices. HDR mode will give you a nice dynamic range when you when you um, when you have places like for example now where I have shadows and I have highlights over there it give you a nice dynamic range in between be able to differentiate between the highlight and the shadow so show you the difference when I turn high dynamic range off you see how we lose all the details on the trees that's because the high dynamic range is off you just leave it on for now nose reduction uh, Sometime on your footage, you're gonna have grain if you're not exposing your footage, right? So in noise reduction, you you can you can choose what type of noise reduction you want to apply to your video, whether it's no noise reduction if you're planning on do that on post production, or you do a fast noise reduction. It's gonna eliminate a little bit, but it's not gonna be as harsh to the image. Or you do high quality noise reduction because it's gonna on high quality noise reduction, it will try to eliminate all the noise from the image. Then you have your preset. I currently have two presets right now, save up, which is 3K at 30 and 3K at 24, 24 frames per second. You can choose whatever combinations of setting you want and save it under your preset. Every time you do changes to any settings, you can come to current, you can come to preset and you know click save current preset value, you put a name into it, and it will save all the changes that you just made to the app. For the next time you go use it and you just go preset and you go to whatever option you set it we've got typical options that you you find too on their um factory camera app like image stabilization i would recommend not to use image stabilization if you're using a gimbal because they both will try to fight each other but if you're just walking around yes i recommend you use image stabilization torch that means for your flash or you can do the grid I like, I like to use the grid so I can line up my shot. And that's pretty much it when you come down to the setting, right? So those settings, they are pretty basic. Filmic Pro really stand out from the rest of the camera app if when you come down here, you have to select different color profile. For example, right now we're in normal mode. This is what the camera sees right now. You can do either a natural color profile. A natural color profile, it will darken the image a little bit. It will look like it saturated the image a little more than what it should. Dynamic, in dynamic trying to give you a balance of saturation and a, and a balance of dynamic range. And then you got a flat color profile. Flat, flat color profile is pretty good if you plan to color grade your footage but not as much because on flat color profile you still retain 
all the saturation level and everything. And the last one, or one of the best ones, is log. On log footage, it's pretty much to desaturate your entire image. You have to do some color correction if you want to use log. And in this mode, that's when Filmic Pro stand out from the rest of the, any other app on your smartphone. The good option for Filmic Pro is the Life Analytic. It will let you know whether your image is overexposed, like right now on red, or underexposed on blue. So whenever, whenever you, you lack, lack uh, let me go back a little bit. So you lack your exposure, you go to your control analytic, analytics, and then you, you find out on this, it will let you know what is overexposed and what is underexposed for your image. For my recommendation, try to overexpose just a little bit. That way you don't have a lot of noise on your shadows. And you come back to your settings. Since we're on log mode, you can just come and put down a highlight. But you see how from red goes to green. That's fine. And then you do the same for the shadow. Lift up the shadow just a little bit. You, you, got, you turn on half. The goal is to have as much green as possible in your footage. That way you mean that it's fine. And this is it for now. I will be making two more videos. One of them will be about flat color profile and how to color grade it and the use of different LUTs and log video profile and how to color grade it and the type of LUTs that you can use with those videos. Subscribe.